Hey loves, it's your girl April and today's video is going to be kind of a rant. I'm very disappointed in some hair that I received from Ally Express. Now mind you, I have done many Ally Express reviews and I have never had such bad issues with certain companies. Need to mention like Julia Hair on Ally Express where the weave hair started smoking after applying bleach to it as well as another whose hair was just kind of like garbage to me. Now this one here, VIP Beauty Hair, they asked me to do a review and of course I like to do the reviews for Ally Express because it's a much more cheaper way to purchase hair. However, you do have to be careful and I've mentioned this many times before in many of my videos. So there are certain Ally Express vendors that I absolutely love who have the best hair and then there are some who will take your money and run. So anyway, I get an email from VIP Beauty, which is an Ally Express vendor, and I agreed to do the video. I wanted some bundles, 16 inches of their straight hair, which I got three bundles. I think it was three or four bundles and a closure to match. I was going to make this unit into an actual bob hairstyle which I was so happy about because I already had made one prior using another company's hair that came out really well. So I said, you know what, I'm going to make another one. This time I'm gonna cut it a little bit different. I did do the strand test with the bleach just in case I wanted to bleach it. And I didn't want to bleach it because I just decided I'm just going to leave it dark and just cut a different style in it. So mind you, it takes me a minute to make these wigs. Not a minute, but it takes me a couple of hours. Plus I'll wash and condition them. I'll flat iron them. I'll curl them. I'll style them. I'll do what I need to do to the wig. So it's not a two hour job. It ends up being like five hours, sometimes six, depending on what I'm doing. Okay. So I had just finished flat ironing this hair. Now, needless to say, I already said it was straight, but I wanted it to be bone straight so that I could do my cutting magic on it. Now, normally when I get a lace wig, a full lace wig, or a lace closure, sometimes I may take the lace closure or the lace wig and place it between the flat iron. So that way it lays flatter. I don't really do this too often, but I've never had any issue with that putting the lace closure or the full lace wig through the flat iron and laying the flat iron on it to apply heat. Well, this time around, I did that again. And let me tell you, as soon as I released the hair, which was like five seconds, the whole damn thing melted, okay? Yes, when I say the closure melted, the closure freaking melted. So the hair didn't melt but the closure melted. So now it looks like a U-part wig. So instead of me being so upset, which I already was because I've already went ahead and took my time to style this, wash it, condition it, make it so it's combs, I said, let me contact VIP Beauty hair on Ally Express and show them photos of the hair since they were constantly emailing me. When you're gonna get the review out, when you're gonna, don't fucking nag me about some hair when your quality is not even on a 10 threshold. So I did not have the hair that long. It was probably like two, three weeks. But give me some time, like just chill out. So I sent them some pictures of the hair and I was very polite about it. I said, when I say polite meaning I wasn't cursing them out. I let them know I was upset and very sad because I took all this time to create this wig and once I put some heat to the closure, it melted. Never in my life have I had a closure that melted. And I'm not really sure if any of you girls have had that issue with a melting closure, but closure should not melt. That's the number one thing. You're putting heat to the hair and it's made on a closure, so there's no reason for your closure to melt. Now this has been like a week and a half now and if you can email me constantly ask me about the video and as soon as I email you about your closure melting, you don't respond. I have given them over a week and a half to get back to me and not once have they replied to any of my messages. So here's my thing. I'm not going to keep fucking emailing you about your goddamn melting ass closure. If that's what it is, that's what the hell it is. So when the video goes up, please don't email me asking me to remove the video from YouTube and you'll send me another closure. 
No, what I'll do is I'll go elsewhere and get me a closure. The hair is nice. Like I said, I did the strand test and it up, 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 it upheld to the bleach. But the closure is like way off. What closure do you know fucking melts? Like this is all my time and hard work. And of course I can take this apart and unseam it, but it's not going to be exactly the same. A lot of people remove their closures from their units, but I'm not one of those. I just, once I sew it, it's on and it's not coming off unless you're going to make something totally different with it. And that wasn't the whole concept of this. So, like I said, when it comes to AliExpress, you need to really take your time and research and not just go off of YouTube videos. Some people may say, oh, I'm bashing the company because of a closure, which is very, you know, minute. No, it's not even that. It's the fact that for one, you sent me some garbage. For two, if you sent me garbage, I can only imagine what you send to people who spend their money. Also, you didn't even have the courtesy to respond to my email with the attached pictures, which I took my time out to be somewhat courteous in the email. Like I said, I did not curse nobody. I did not go off. I let you know that I was upset and I was sad. So meaning that I told you how I felt, you should have took it upon yourself to be professional enough and apologize and let me know. We're going to look into this matter and we're going to see what we can do for you. But you didn't even fucking do that. And because of that, here is the wig and here is the goddamn melted closure. Melted closure. When I took it off the flat iron, there was a strip of closure and hair just laid across the flat iron like it was some type of new adhesive hair, new kind of toupee, what have you. This is like to me like a waste of my time. And I really don't like to waste my time. But like I said already, you need to take your time and check out these Ally Express vendors. There are only a certain amount of ones that I really will deal with, like Lily Hair Beauty, I Am I Hair, which is sister company to each other, Grace Length Hair, Grace Hair, their same company, you know, Modern Show Hair, um, and there's quite a other few that I like that I've dealt with have very good quality hair. But VIP Beauty has some bullshit going on with them, and I'm not happy about it. So therefore, here is your video review for your hair, and I hope that they enjoyed it because this is a no bueno to me. No bueno, no bullshit, not acceptable, bottom line. So on that note, I hope you girls enjoyed this video, this rant. Um, but yeah, so now I have to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with this. And on that note, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you girls on my next video.